food and choices you can make to ensure we're all eating favorites like oysters and lobster well into the future. I'm Christina DeFranco with another environmental tip from The Green Files. Now, I grew up in New England, and I've eaten just about everything that's edible from the ocean for as long as I can remember. But some of those old standbys from the sea are in danger of being overfished, which could mean they won't be available in the future. That's why the organization Seafood Watch has put together a guide for suppliers and consumers, listing best choices, good alternatives, and seafood to avoid. Whole Foods Market has a very stringent seafood policy, paying close attention to that guide and doing its own homework. Um, for years we didn't sell haddock until that industry came back. You won't find orange roughy here because it's right here on the avoid list. But you will see farmed salmon in Whole Foods, even though Seafood Watch recommends avoiding it. And farmed fish in general gets kind of a bad rap sometimes, but when you really look at it, we find the best places. Octopus, you don't see that every day. A good alternative, according to Seafood Watch. One of the best choices, farmed barramundi, a flavorful whitefish from Australia that's raised here in the United States. Whole Foods takes into consideration local stocks and fishing practices. Our feeling is, let's remember the fishers and let's try to um, not put them out of business. For example, Atlantic cod is listed as an avoid but its northeast stores will carry cod caught on local day boats. They're not bringing in massive quantities of it. It's not being brought in uh, to be turned into uh, fish burgers somewhere. By law, seafood departments are required to tell you how the product's raised and where it came from. Not as easy when you go out to eat, but you can print out your own guide and ask the server where the seafood came from. On seafoodwatch.com, you can create your own pocket guide by clicking on the region and then printing it out. Something to keep on hand so you can do your part to keep seafood favorites on the menu. From the Green Files, I'm Christina DeFranco.